everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Marissa, and I create journaling, memory keeping, and travel journaling videos hoping to inspire you to find little moments of joy through this practice. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm passionate about creative journaling, and that includes junk journaling. Are you working on your first junk journal and not sure what kinds of things you can include? There are lots of options for fun additions. So in this video, I'll share different ideas to inspire you and show you how I actually use and document in this creative book. So whether you're just starting out or want fresh inspiration, there are so many possibilities to make your journal uniquely yours. First off, let's talk about what exactly a junk journal is. Essentially, it's a handmade journal created using various recycled materials like old book pages, various papers, magazine pages and clippings, scrap, fabric, and anything else you can think of. Some of my favorite options are scrapbook paper, envelopes, maps, book pages, different colors of papers, and unused notebook sheets. The beauty of junk journaling lies in its versatility and creativity. There are no rules or limitations when it comes to crafting your own junk journal. It's all about letting your imagination run wild and turning ordinary trash into extraordinary keepsakes. Here is a flip through of a blank or empty junk journal that I made. As you can see, these are made of old magazine pages and different kinds of papers. This is hand stitch, and the size of this junk journal is a traveler's notebook size since I like keeping all my creative journals in one place. So what kind of things do I put in here? Honestly, it's a mix of everything. This is where I can let my creativity flow freely through collaging, gluing in memorabilia, mementos, and ephemera, adding photos, stamps, and stickers. Junk journaling allows me to recycle materials into something meaningful. The contents of a junk journal can be as varied as the materials used to make it. some pages, I do collaging with vintage ephemera like old postcards, letters, photographs, stamps, tickets, and labels. 
I also incorporate magazine clippings, paper scraps from books or junk mail, decorative stamps, and stickers to create layered texture background. Other spaces have photos from special events along with journaling about those memories. I also document little everyday moments by sticking in tickets, postcards, wrapper of the food or snacks that I liked, or anything that I want to remember. Through this journal, I can rediscover forgotten keepsakes and give them new life by making them part of my journal spreads. This style of journaling never fails to spark my creativity and imagination. I like writing quotes that I've come across such as book quotes or poetry directly onto the journal pages as well. In my traveler's notebook system, I have an insert filled with journaling prompts that I can reference and respond to within my junk journal. I also like using tip-ins and envelopes in my junk journals to make the pages interactive and fun. Inside the envelopes, I write secret thoughts, memories, or musings that I want to keep private. The use of tip-ins allows me to tuck away little snippets and reveals. Basically, in addition to my other creative journals, this book holds a creative record of my life experiences, thoughts, and cherished memories. The process for working in my junk journals is very freeform and spontaneous. Sometimes, I'll sit and make a few pages at once if I'm feeling particularly artistic and inspired. Other times, I'll quickly add something when I have a spare moment. I don't put pressure on myself to do anything in particular. I just use it as a relaxing outlet for creativity, self-expression, and memory keeping. I love this type of journaling because there's no rigid format. You can make it as structured or messy as you want. For me, that creative freedom is so therapeutic. Plus, looking back at the past entries always brings me joy and reflection. My junk journal is like a cozy time capsule full of meaningful little treasures. This video gave you a peek into how I use my junk journal and some inspiration for what you can include in yours. Let me know down in the comments, are you a fellow junk journaler or is this a new creative passion you want to try? If you want to see more examples of how I decorate and journal in my junk journals, check out my junk journal playlist. I'll add a link in the description box. And please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more junk journal content. Thanks for watching and happy journaling!